get my old barbecue barrel fired up do some barbecue in here in a little bit um, kind of a cheap arrangement I just took that barrel there as you can see and cut a hole the top of it put a grill on it then I start a wood fire fire in it let it burn down and uh, which doesn't take all that long gives me a pretty a lot of heat pretty good bunch of coals in the bottom some smoke and I'll take some pictures as I'm cooking this stuff I don't get any grease fire it's the grease out of the pork and stuff runs down the flames don't get high enough to scorch the meat and it, and it really does a nice job we, we're, we're happy with it well I'm gonna shut this off for now of course the wind always comes around put smoke right in your eyes that's the old barrel maybe I should back up a little bit you can see it better it's all it is we do a lot of barbecuing on that thing I got sick of propane when I switched over to this you know I mean there's nothing wrong with a gas grill but I guess you're cooking outside instead of inside that's the only difference I can see okay just loaded her up Got some burgers on there Got some chicken Got some pork whole chicken cook on there I don't know how good it's gonna work I may have to finish that in the house because we've got a lot of breeze but anyway this is what it looks like so far I just barely put this stuff all on and, uh, we'll check back in shortly there ah, she's really cooking now you can see you get the flame it just doesn't reach up no, that's the grease getting down in the coals. That, I should say. But you can see it just does not reach up and uh, charbroil everything. There's two burgers that are done. Step over to the right of it. Still all cooking nicely. Here it's sizzling. I don't know if I'm doing a whole chicken on here. Is there a good idea or not? I'll tell you when it's done. I think it's going to take a while. The outside may be a little scorched looking. We'll see. There it is at this point. I've done the hamburgers. And I can tell you the pork chops are really good because I ate one. They're the best and they're done like that. And uh, chickens. I think those smaller pieces are done, and that that, that, that whole chicken is going to take a while. Still, I'm sure of that. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Looking good. There's the burgers, the pork chops, and the chicken done. My wife said the burgers are delicious. She came out and ate part of one. That's going to be a while. I just put a couple sticks in, built some heat up. I may end up cutting it apart some. We'll see. I'd like to cook it whole if it would. It'd be kind of fun to do. But the wind is really strong today. I don't know if you can see the branches moving. We're kind of protected here a little bit. But... There. The rest of it's all done. I finally cut that chicken up. I think if I was going to do a whole one again, I'll make a cradle and take the rack off and then do a tripod with some green sticks and actually hang the bird kind of down into the barrel. Um, it wasn't cooking good underneath the thighs and the legs and, and the breast wasn't cooking through and you can see now that it is. I, I'm not big on raw chicken. Raw beef? Okay, raw burgers, but raw chicken. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing my cheap little barbecue over here in my little relaxing area. Um, cut the wind up radio, Molson. Saws playing there with my fire steel a little bit. I've had more fun with that and enjoyed that more.
Well, I just can't thank Nathan enough. I, I really have enjoyed that. Kind of turning me into a pyromaniac here. <laughs> Going around setting stuff on fire with it.